Okay, what about, since I'm talking a lot about doweling, plugging holes, what about taking my dowel and plugging a screw pocket? Well, screw pockets are really a subject of a whole other video. I'm seeing screw pockets used and all sorts of uh, crazy things are being done with them. You know, whole pieces of furniture are being screwed together, table aprons to the legs, and I don't know why people think that that's going to last, that that thing's not going to be uh, rickety and wobbly after a few years of, of actual use, you know, a, a year of actual use in a home with a family, and that is not going to stay together, and I wouldn't sell a customer something that way. So I'm judicious about how I use uh, pocket holes, and I need to do a video on it because I only use them for select scenarios where the strength of the pocket hole is already overkill for what's needed in conjunction with glue and other structural elements. But, with that said, if you wanted to use pockets and plug the holes, you can buy the plugs, they're very expensive. Um, what if we took a dowel and uh, let's put a little out here where you struggle to get you struggle to get glue out up in here and then uh, make sure that the, the dowel has got glue on it and I don't want to see it starve for glue I never plug my screw pockets so this is a little bit new for me because I just wouldn't build and sell something uh, made that way and the way that I use screw pockets, and I'm not against screw pockets for select cases, select scenarios. But what I'm saying is the way I use them, I would never need to plug them because they're not going to show the piece. If I tap that, tap that in, okay, it's in, and see the the drill doesn't drill a perfectly consistent hole. Also, the steel burnishes against the side. It's the nature of the beast. It leaves steel residue there off the drill bit. You can see it. That probably interferes a little bit with glue surface. Nevertheless, with some of that glue off, we'll let this set up and dry a little bit. Because you have to remember, in an assembly where this could show, chances are, it's not a face frame where it's turned backwards, chances are it's a shelf of some kind, and if it could possibly show, would be the only reason you'd plug it. And if you plug it, there's a piece here in the way, so planing goes out the window, and a lot of things go out the window, but the idea would be, let this glue dry, come in with the saw using the ripped teeth, and cut this way into the piece, but I think we should let it dry a little bit. This is pressed into the hole good. Uh, I don't want to cut it off. That's another issue. If you do, cut it up in here so that when you go through, you're not damaging your piece and so forth. Then you'd have the use of that piece right now could go in this hole. So there's a lot of considerations. This is actually, uh, subject for another video. If you cut these off and try to use them, that angle is not going to work for the next one, but you know, if you have enough slack there left over, you could glue that in. I'll go ahead and glue this one in. This was a cut off from another test, and I will spread this glue on there. I may have to post this as a separate video because my doweling video is already getting so long. But I wanted to address this because I think it would come up with folks. Uh, what about plugging screw pockets? So I've got some glue on the piece. I'll rotate it into the hole. There's some excess glue there. 
I like to take shavings or plain shavings actually is what I like. And get some of that off of there. And we'll let this dry and come back. It's dried. Let's cut these off. And again, I want to point out that these screw pockets, I don't know what kind of assembly you'd use them for where they show. So I don't know why you'd plug them. But the company makes plugs for them. So the only thing I can picture is some kind of assembly like this, where you have an intersecting piece and these could possibly show, therefore you might want to plug those because they might possibly show. But if there was any chance of these showing, they're out. I'm not using them. I, that's, that's not what I sell to my customers. But I'm not saying I don't use pocket joints. There is legitimate applications for a, a screw pocket, especially using the proper screws that uh, I like the screws that Craig sells. Uh, Craig Jigs sells good screws and they're a reasonable price, so I use them. But anyhow, how are you going to cut this in the piece? I'm guessing you'd cut it like this because you have a piece in the way. So I'll cut these two using the ripping teeth because that's what kind of cut that is. Our glue is dry. So there goes our dowels. That's a pretty good looking plug there. I'm assuming we can't plane because there's a piece in the way, so we can't plane this way, we can't plane that way. Generally cross grain planing is a bad is a bad mistake. So that's not much of an option. You might clean that last little booger off of there, but basically that's not a good option. Could you pair with a chisel? Well, a little. Uh, this is all uncharted waters for me because I don't use screw pockets this way and I certainly don't worry about them showing if I do. Uh, I just don't use them in that kind of application. That's pretty good looking, but they're rough. Uh, maybe they could be scraped like that. Um, very, very much a possibility. Pulling backwards I think is a viable possibility. So I think you, you're going to boil down to just having to do some sanding. So um, we've kind of created a straw man here to see if we can beat him up, but I think it is working. Let me throw a little finish on that for you and see how that looks. Uh, not a bad look. I'll see if you're in frame. Let me focus for you a little better. I zoomed in and tried to focus a little bit for you, so um, well, that's certainly better than looking at the screw pocket. Um, it's not uh, too bad. It's not perfect, but it's not too bad, and that's uh, very low cost plugs compared to using very high cost plugs that they sell. So you'd have to just look at your at your labor if you were selling the piece but uh, anyhow it proves that you can do it with uh, my homemade dowels thanks for watching